brought to you by wikivd.com. James Ellsworth, wrestler. James Ellsworth Morris is an American professional wrestler and promoter currently signed to WWE, where he performs under the ring name James Ellsworth on the SmackDown brand. Morris has also competed on the independent circuit under the ring name Pretty Jimmy Dream. Independent Circuit 2002 2016 Throughout most of his career, Morris has performed on the independent circuit under the ring name Pretty, Jimmy Dream, often as part of a tag team with Adam Ugly as the Pretty Ugly. The duo have won several regional championships throughout the Northeastern United States, including American Combat Wrestling, Big Time Wrestling, and First State Championship Wrestling. Pretty Ugly debuted in 302 Pro Wrestling at their first show. In 2006, Morris made his Combat Zone Wrestling debut at CZW Tournament of Death V Teaming with Drew Gulak on a losing end to BLKOUT. Morris returned to CZW again in 2009, losing to John Dharma in a battle royal. In 2009 at Covey Promotions All or Nothing 3. Morris defeated Draven, Thomas Rodriguez and Crazy Aisha in a four-way ladder match to become the Covey Promotions Cruiserweight Champion. Morris dropped the championship at CPE Hot and bothered 2009 to Crazy Aisha. He won the Cruiserweight title in 2009. On June 4, 2016, Pretty Ugly won a tournament to be crowned the inaugural 302 Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions by defeating the Dub Boys and Riot City's Most Wanted in the tournament finals. Morris also runs a professional wrestling promotion known as Adrenaline Championship Wrestling, which was founded in September 2009. Early Appearances 2014-2016 Prior to his initial WWE runs, Morris appeared a couple of times as one of Adam Rose's Rosebuds. Whenever the company came into the Baltimore area, Morris, as James Ellsworth, had his first WWE singles match on the July 25, 2016 episode of Raw as an enhancement talent. Being quickly defeated by Braun Strowman, Ellsworth gained some praise and subsequently developed a cult following due to his meek appearance and enthusiastic pre-match promo, in which he declared that any man with two hands has a fighting chance before being easily defeated by Strowman, thus making a fool out of himself. Storyline with Dean Ambrose and AJ Styles 2016-2017 Ellsworth resurfaced in the main event of the September 13th episode of SmackDown Live as the mystery tag team partner for WWE World Champion AJ Styles against Dean Ambrose and John Cena, only to be attacked by Intercontinental Champion The Miz as he walked down to the ring. On the October 11th episode of SmackDown Live, Ellsworth was chosen by Styles as his opponent in a non-title match. But SmackDown general manager Daniel Bryan made Ambrose the special guest referee for the match, stating that Ambrose was to be treated with the same level of respect as a regular WWE referee, and that if Styles put his hands on Ambrose, he would be disqualified and suspended. Ambrose favored Ellsworth during the match due to his rivalry with Styles, culminating in Ambrose attacking Styles and allowing Ellsworth to win. Ellsworth was granted a WWE World Championship match the following week on the October 18th episode of SmackDown Live, with Ambrose serving as the timekeeper and ring announcer. Ellsworth continued to be involved in Styles' rivalry with Ambrose, as he felt that he owed Ambrose a favor due to his support in aiding him in his matches with Styles, offering Ambrose assistance. But this backfired on the October 25th episode of SmackDown Live, when Ellsworth accidentally cost Ambrose the match after executing no-chin music on Styles. 
meaning Ambrose was disqualified. On the November 1st episode of SmackDown Live, Ellsworth would attempt to apologize to Ambrose, who would kick Ellsworth out of the building. Ellsworth would nonetheless interfere in the rematch, being chased around by security, distracting Styles and allowing Ambrose to win an opportunity for the title. SmackDown Commissioner Shane McMahon also named Ellsworth the SmackDown mascot for the 2016 Survivor Series match on the November 8 episode of SmackDown Live. Ellsworth after being defeated by AJ Styles for the WWE Championship on SmackDown Live during Survivor Series on November 20. Ellsworth hid under the ring and grabbed Braun Strowman's leg to prevent him from getting back in the ring, resulting in Strowman getting eliminated by countout only for Strowman to chase Ellsworth up the ramp and put him through a table, injuring his neck. After legitimately signing a WWE contract, this was worked into a storyline on the 22nd of November episode of SmackDown Live, when Styles goaded the injured Ellsworth to face him in a ladder match for the right to be a SmackDown superstar with his contract suspended above the ring. Ellsworth agreed, but wanted another shot at the WWE World Championship should he win the match. That night, Ellsworth defeated Styles to win a SmackDown contract, due to Ambrose helping Ellsworth yet again. On the 29th of November episode of SmackDown Live, Ellsworth suffered a storyline injury after Styles interrupted his Ambrose Asylum segment, with Ambrose attacking both and delivering a Styles clash to Ellsworth off the steel steps, which caused Ellsworth to be taken on a stretcher by medical personnel. This led Ellsworth interfering on December 4 at TLC, tables, ladders and chairs during the tables, ladders and chairs between Styles and Ambrose to help the latter, but he ended up helping Styles instead by pushing Ambrose off the ladder and sent him through two tables, turning heel. Ellsworth explained that, since he had already beaten Styles three times, he helped Styles because he wanted to defeat him again, this time for the WWE World Championship. A match SmackDown's commissioner Shane McMahon granted him. For the following episode of SmackDown Live, Ellsworth also praised his own brilliant strategy to give Styles the title so his title match would be against Styles, who he had beaten three times already, adding that Ambrose would have done the same thing and would understand, cause we go way back, also promising him an immediate shot at the title after he would defeat Styles, but Ambrose would instead end up giving him a dirty deeds. This prompted Ellsworth trying to make it up with Ambrose by helping him defeat The Miz for the Intercontinental Championship on the December the 6th episode of SmackDown Live, but his effort backfired and eventually cost Ambrose the match. Furthermore, Ellsworth's title opportunity was twice postponed, first due to Styles being legitimate injured, and the second time due to Ellsworth suffering from a kayfabe cold. The match eventually happened on the December 20th episode of SmackDown Live, during which Styles easily defeated Ellsworth in under a minute to end their storyline. Thank you for watching, brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.